The Irish people understand the Palestinian anti-colonial struggle in a way that the so-called great European nations, France, Germany, Britain, can never understand. These countries have traditionally been the oppressor and not the oppressed. Ireland, like Palestine, knows what it's like to be brutalised and to have our land confiscated and gifted to settlers who deem themselves to be ethnically superior to us. During Oliver Cromwell's genocidal campaign in Ireland, his slogan for the native Catholic population was that they could go to hell or to Connacht, i.e. to poor land in the west of the country, a likely early prototype for Native American reservations. Like Palestine, we never stopped resisting our oppression, which led us to being labelled terrorists by the oppressor. A Palestinian friend recently told me that when Palestinians refuse food in Israeli jails and accept only water and salt, they call it going on an Irish hunger strike. The recent racist and orientalist cartoon in the Washington Post depicting Palestinians as base and amoral called to mind the similarly dehumanizing British Punch magazine depictions of Irish as simian and lawless. During Ireland's War of Independence, which led to the partial liberation of the country from the British Empire, the IRA fought a particularly reviled class of British soldier known as the Black and Tans, who were infamous for their brutality against the civilian population. Well, after the war, some of these fine gentlemen were exported to Palestine. In fact, Britain's partition of Ireland and the creation of the British Unionist supremacist statelet of Northern Ireland became a kind of prototype for the Zionist project, with Britain declaring its intentions to create a little loyal Jewish Ulster in a sea of potentially hostile Arabism. In more recent times, my friends in the north of Ireland have experienced something at the hands of the colonial oppressor that Palestinians know only too well, that is, the denial of justice. Britain's recent shameful legacy bill effectively grants amnesty to British soldiers who carried out war crimes during the Troubles. These are some of the reasons why many of us have your back. Oh, and because it's the right thing to do, there's nothing complicated about genocide.